So in this video, I'm gonna to try to fix the air wash system I made for my wood stove. Basically an air wash is, uh, it draws in air, kind of like your normal damper, but at a different location, it draws in air and it's supposed to suck in the air through the glass and, and burn the gases in front of the glass and keep it clean. As you can see, it's the design I had isn't working that great. So this was kind of temporary. I was playing with it. I put a hole here to bring in air and an outlet there. And the idea was to let that suck in air and wash the, burn off the gases in front of the glass, but it's, it's not working. What I need to do is bring this plate and angle it towards the glass, not in towards the stove. And then I want to get rid of this hole, fill that, and then basically move th this hole to my secondary burn tubes up there. I want to tie that in with those tubes. Those go on the back of the stove and draw in air from the back. Back there. So I'm thinking that'll work better with a combination of angling this plate towards the glass and giving it more air intake through both of those, I think they're inch and a half tubes on each side. But if you, you'll see on a lot of manufactured stoves, that's similar to what they do. So I'm gonna start with cutting this old stuff out and figuring out how to make it work. So here's what I came up with. I got that piece cut out, cleaned up a little bit. I still gotta fill that in. So I was playing around, trying to figure out the best way. Uh, either way, it's gonna be pretty hard. It would obviously be easier if I did this when I was building the stove, but. So I didn't have any more inch and a half square tube. That's what those are. So I'm just gonna use this, I think it's two by one tube and I uh, so I cut a little triangle notch on each side and then have this eighth inch plate connecting it making this separate chamber and then so in those holes on each side it's going to go up like this and on that angle cut I still got to cut holes which is going to be hard but I think I can do it. I'm gonna cut a slot right there on that tube and right there. And that's where those are gonna tie in, sucking in air with the rest of that secondary burn. It'd be kind of hard to show you, but it's gonna go like this. So something like that. 
still gotta see where those sit on those tubes so i gotta cut holes in there and then try to weld all the way around so we'll see how that goes and i'm still playing around i think this gap right here might be too big but i'm not sure i'm playing around bending that but i think i'm gonna cut those holes weld it in and give it a test run because i gotta finish welding this up first this is just tacked together i still don't know if any of this is gonna work this is all kind of <laughs> prototyping so we'll see <laughs> you might get a better understanding of what I'm even trying to do here so I got those two slots cut in that square tube for this so now those two ends tie into that so this whole air chamber in here is tied in with those secondary burn tubes up there not the big not these big tubes in the middle that's for the heat exchanger blower that's different these small tubes going across with the holes in them that's for the secondary burn and then it sucks in air through the back of the stove so it's going to be hard trying to weld it in there but especially around the back side. But I'll try it, see what happens.
All right, so I got that welded in. I filled that hole, put a fresh coat of paint, touch it up on the front. Uh, let me see if I can show you in here. So I think I got it all the way around. I put a mirror back there to weld the back side of that. It's not pretty, but I think it's sealed. <clears throat> so I'm a little worried that this gap is too big. I feel like it might need to be smaller. And I'm hoping that those inch and a half tubes coming from the back of the stove are enough air intake for the secondary burn tubes and this air wash on the glass. Just clean the, clean the glass so should be able to tell if it's working or not. Right, let me get a fire going and we'll test it out. So I've had the fire going. I've been playing with this for a few hours now. So far, it's working pretty much how I want it to. So the glass has been staying super clean and it's still, you can kind of see the flame firing off again up top there. It's hard to see with the secondary burn still working. It's hard to tell, but it's firing off at the top of the stove. And the glass is staying clean. So the true test will be in the morning after I got it completely shut down now, the front dampers. And they're not perfectly airtight, obviously. There's a little bit of gap there because it needs some air but for the most part it's just getting air through those back through the secondary air tubes in the back I'll show you so these two tubes get this piece of paper I'll show you it's sucking air see it's sucking in towards the hole there it goes this one too. So the stove's taking most of its air through those tubes up in that secondary burn. And also what I tied in that air wash up front here to help keep the glass clean. So right now I'm pretty happy with it. I'll play around with it for the next couple weeks. Maybe do a update video show you guys how it's still working. Thanks for watching.